So I'm Steve Croft, and it's great to be here with Aaron Neighbor, uh, winner of the New Horizons Math Prize for 2018. Congratulations. Thank you much. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how you got interested in math? I mean, my, my, my interest in mathematics is twofold. I mean, for, for one, my, my, my father was a, a mathematician as well, um, and he, he taught actually in Chico State, which is not too far from here. Uh, but when I went to college, I was an engineer for a while. I was in aerospace, and this was sort of... Uh, pretty interesting stuff in aerospace. And so I sort of moved over to mathematics as uh, being more of a, an area where you could be thinking about something new every day. And what was it that kind of really um, sort of hooked you uh, initially? I mean, you know, so so when I was uh, an undergraduate and doing aerospace, I was working for a Navy lab at Penn State at the time. And what they had me do was they wanted me to program some simulation of how, how some laser was welding things together. And, you know, as a young undergrad, this was very fun, and I had a lot of fun, learned a lot of stuff, and, you know, wrote this program. And after that was done, they want me to sit there eight hours a day and watch it run, right? So, so during such time, I uh, basically started studying more and more mathematics that sort of began in that direction, right, in the modeling, and it eventually it went more and more abstract. And do you find sort of math permeates your life? What do you do to kind of um, take your mind off math? Uh, I mean, my life is extremely simple to, to some degree. I mean, I've got a wife and three daughters, so so my time is spent entirely uh, either with them or doing mathematics. Really, I don't even sleep much. So, <laughs> so so it's uh, this is basically all I do. It's I get wound up with one, and then I go over and get wound up with the other, and bounce back and forth. Do you dream about math? Not that much, actually. No. Usually now I'm, I'm, you know, the last part of my day is with the family, so usually I'm pretty exhausted and I flop <laughs> off pretty good now. Mm -hmm. Much better than when I was younger. <laughs> um, who's your mathematical hero, living or dead, and why? <sighs> That's a good question. Um, let, 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 let's say guys like uh, Gromoff and uh, uh, Cheeger. These guys are very much in my area, and Cheeger's someone I actually have a lot of experience with. Um, as to why, I mean, they do kind of what I do, but, but I mean, they, they, they were really foundational in the areas. I, I think I'd have to put Yao there as well. I mean, these are the guys who didn't just sort of do the, do, do the math and, and solve the theorems. They, they, they built what is now what my area is, right? I mean, if, if I say I'm a geometric analyst, what that really means is that you name these guys and what they built has now become the city that is geometric analysis, right? So this, is, this would be probably my most fair answer. And tell us a little bit about your area. Well, I mean, so so, what do I do? I, I think mathematicians and theoretical physicists have it rough for this question. <laughs> um, so so, I mean, if if I try to explain, I would explain it like this. I mean, kind of from 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 kind of a theoretical point of view, I break stuff. So so, we have these mathematical equations, and they model things, right? Right. I mean, if you're a practical person, then then they model everything from from how your oven works to to you know how the, the universe works and how atoms interact. Or if you're a mathematician, it may be something random and abstract. Um, but whatever, they, they model something, right? And, and when you have solutions of these things that are supposed to be well, what the model is, they, they can form singularities. I mean, they can in some sense break. And, you know, so, so what, but these things can't happen in a completely random way. Um, singularities have usually themselves very, I mean, they can only break in special ways. Uh, I mean, the way to think, which, you know, really has nothing to do with what I do, but it draws a nice picture, right? I think of like a concrete ball and hitting it with a hammer. It's not going to explode like a star, right? It's going to crack, and you're going to get this little jittery kind of curve, right? So, so you know, when it breaks, it breaks along this sort of one-dimensional curve, and it moves around in sort of this jittery fashion. The mathematical word for that would be rectifiable. And for the mathematical equations I study, I try to study how they break and what their singularities look like. So you're sort of pushing math to its limits in some way? Or? I mean, hopefully we all are in our own way, right? I mean, this, this, this is somehow the goal anyway, right? Mm -hmm. And how does sort of a discovery happen in math? Um, I mean, probably the same way discovery happens in anything else. I mean, lots of errors, right? I mean, you decide you're going to solve something, and once you're sort of, you know, solving a new theorem, it's sort of like being an architect and having to build the house, right? The architect is sort of the nice, cool picture you build, and the building the house part is the technical details of it. And the better you, I mean, basically, you've got to go through a hundred wrong ideas before you get to a right one, right? As they keep refining, I bet it's probably the same in most areas, right? And you just try to get through those ideas as fast as possible until you can get to that right one, and you, you keep building on that tower as you go along. Do you feel like most of your work is kind of that 
slow slog towards the right solution or are there kind of aha moments which oh, there's come always to you in the aha. shower? Or sure, or? there's always aha moments. The, 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 the problem is that, you know, for every aha moment, what they skip is, is the 10 aha moments that were wrong before it, mm -hmm. right? So, so it's a series of aha moments and occasionally they're right when you're lucky. Hmm. What are the qualities of a good proof? The qualities of a good proof? Um, so, so I work in an area that's extremely technical, right? right? Even by math, mathematician standards. So, so the qualities of a good proof is the ability to, at least say to another mathematician, to be able to explain the ideas in a clear and concise way so that at the end of a 10 minute conversation, they think they understand it, right? And you know, it may fizzle away and it may break apart when they try to look at the details, but, but there's a clear, clean idea there that, that you can get and you know what the path is, right? You can draw that path. Um, hopefully a proof should do that, should draw the path for you so you know where to go. And is it becoming increasingly difficult uh, to describe what you do to mathematicians working in other fields as sort of math grows? I don't know if I'd say difficult so much as impossible. Hmm. I mean, <laughs> and, you know, I mean, if, if I had this conversation with, 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 say, another one of the winners, I mean, it would be much the same. We can't communicate about what we do almost any better than what I can communicate with, with someone who does something else entirely. I mean, it's, it's the, you build your own language and, and you work on this language, mm -hmm. which is somewhat unfair, right? I mean, this is like talking to some people who are speaking German and you don't speak German. It's not necessarily more complicated than what you're saying. It just sounds that way if you don't know the language. And is there a way that you can try and sort of translate that you can get sort of the German-English dictionary to sort of bridge those gaps between the Well, that, that, that's where the, the, the timid understanding comes from, right? I mean, so, so we, we've... Hopefully a, a, a good, good expositor in mathematics can in fact do that um, to at least another mathematician. Um, uh, you know, they've got enough background that you can sort of, you know, you know a good explanation is, is always about knowing how to lie appropriately, right, right? How to explain what you know it is that they're gonna understand and skip the stuff you know that they're not going to, right? Mm -hmm. So, so it, it's possible, right? But it's always, you know, the question is how much are you lying in the process? And, and does it sort of uh, make you feel uncomfortable when you have to gloss things over in these uh, explanations? Uh, you know, there's a general understanding, right? We all know how this goes, right? right? So usually, on the contrary, what you do is say completely honestly, I'm lying, but here's how I'm going to explain it, mm -hmm. right? right? You'll, you'll probably hear a phrase like that a lot if you hang around a conference. I mean, th th this is uh, usually how we handle this. Sometimes with analogies, you'll say this is a, a, an incomplete analogy, but it's the best way I have of yeah, describing this. Something so, to this effect, yeah. right, exactly. Are proofs the most important thing for mathematicians? There are two things I would say that are important for mathematicians. Um, and for that matter, often you know, everyone always breaks people up to two types, which is never fair, but nonetheless I'm going to do it. I mean, you, you can prove new theorems uh, um, or you can build new theory. Right? So, so the guys I had mentioned as some of my favorites, for instance, actually kind of did both. That they proved theorems, but in the, in the process they built a lot of theory that sort of by itself, I mean, it, it may be it proved stuff, but it didn't prove stuff other people thought about. Um, it instead changed how you thought mm -hmm. about something. So it doesn't have to be the most important thing, but, but usually, you know, it's one of the key components. Mm -hmm.